Welcome to the We On podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we dive into Russia's extraordinary Noah's Ark satellite, which carried 75 mice, 1,500 flies, plants, and microbes into orbit before a fiery re-entry brought back dramatic survival stories and vital clues about life in space. The mission by the Russian space agency Roscosmos carried a biological payload of mice, flies, plants, and microbes atop a Soyuz 2.1B rocket on a 30-day mission on August 20, 2025, to a near polar orbit at 370 to 380 km altitude, inclination of roughly 97 degrees. The first and second segments of the experiment were about studies of gravitational physiology on animals to ensure life support for human flight under the effects of weightlessness and cosmic radiation. The third, fourth and fifth sections were to understand the influence of spaceflight on the biology of plants and microorganisms, as well as their communities. The sixth, eighth and ninth included biotechnological, technological, physical and technical experiments. The seventh section was about radiobiological and dosimetric experiments. Bion M NO2 satellite made a fiery landing in Russia's Orenburg steppes on September 19th. The satellite traversed from outer space with 75 mice, over 1,500 flies, cell cultures, microorganisms, plant seeds, and more. It was referred to as Noah's Ark because, like the biblical structure, it was carrying a variety of living organisms on board. The specimens were exposed to intense cosmic radiation. Some of them were genetically altered to be sensitive to such radiation, while others received protective drugs and other diets. The mice were placed inside a BIOS cylindrical container in groups with water gel, dry food to support life. A trio of helicopters carrying technical specialists landed near the descent location and collected the specimen for initial experimentation, such as assessing the fly's motor activity to detect any nervous system problems. Out of the 75 mice that took flight, 65 returned alive, and the organizer officially considered the death as acceptable. The cause of death can be radiation or intra-organismal aggressions. Panspermia experiment, also called the meteorite, was carried out during the re-entry of the satellite. This was done by embedding microbes in basalt to test whether they survive re-entry's thermal and mechanical stress. Thanks for tuning into this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned.